All right, guys, do you remember the story of a young lady of 23 years that by her husband, you know, um, that's our picture there. Now, listen to her own part of the story where either you believe it or not. Well, I want us to listen to Very Dark Man analysis. I love that analysis so much. All right, so over to you, Very Dark Man. This man on my screen, he went missing for three days. They no see the man because the man, they paralyzed, you know. So they come to wonder where the man, they, for Abuja, for Peggy in Abuja. They find where the man did and no see the man. All of a sudden, they see his wife enter inside their house, start to the park properties, they load down for truck. So as they say the wife they load properties for truck. The area people they confuse. All of us they find your husband for three days. We don't see your husband. Like, why are you not packing properties and going? You know, everybody for the area start to talk. Next thing they call police. As they call police, and so they hold the girl for ground. As they hold the girl, after much, much talk, then the girl carry them go uncompleted beauty the rich uncompleted beauty see what in the see now call community guideline will not go zoom more but that is what they saw you know be that now husband be that she buy the husband she light fire she burn him burn him with fire because it's of them quarry and that girl is 23 years old this girl is 23 years old they burn him scale like this Bond the man fire real so the FCC command um have arrested her shout out to the cp commissioner of police igwe and um also shout out to the FCC PRO. now they try for down a division but this is crazy though now for the people where they married see if your man your boyfriend or your girlfriend don't tire you you don't want to be in a relationship anymore just carry your bag and go you don't need to be that violent. But for this girl case, now this girl is 23. Now this is what I feel. I'm not saying this is the story right now, right? I feel like they forced her into the marriage at 23 years old. That's what I'm thinking. If like I say they don't force her, maybe not that kind of family where we say they force picking, go and marry, go and marry. You know, all those kind of family where we say they'll just carry that picking gift person. Considering where they stay, that's a village. Peggy is a village. That Nagwagolara area, be. Peggy, other side. I feel like that's what happened. And eventually, this guy started to irritate her. Maybe the guy no get money again or something. But she packed the properties, they relocate. Say the quarry because say the man who they give her money. Happy. What was the quarry? She was set fire. Whew. 23 years old girl. <coughs> On her mind though. Marriage is not an easy thing, to be very honest. But this is a very crazy story. So they arrested her yesterday. Um... Yesterday is 29th. They arrested her yesterday. All right. Um, so you remember one post when I make recently about one young lady of 23 years where by her husband, where come burn the husband with fire, burn her, so that all evidence will go. So listen to the reason where make this lady talk, say, he make her do what she do. Then let's ask ourselves if that's even reason enough for you to do and finish. Come set fire on the body. Now let's take out the husband part. A human being like you carry your own human being. How do you well listen to the reason this girl have? My name is Rahima Sangao Tanjuma. I'm 23 years old. I got married to Sangao Tanjuma on 4th of February 2024. I on his so he is paralyzed. So then, so my husband is such a person that do anything he used to pick an offense and he used to be angry on any little things. So on faithful Friday, I and my husband, uh, we had a fight and I wanted to go out of the house. So um, packing my things, my clothes and my phone. So my husband was dragging my clothes and my phone with me. While dragging it with me, I pushed him. While I pushed him, he fell down and he died. So out, I, out of fear, I dragged his body outside through back door. Then I took, it, took his body to an uncompleted building. Yeah. Then later that day, I I called 
chemical that we use in spraying grasses so that the body will not smell. Later, out of still out of it, I went to buy petrol and I pour it on his body. Then I burn his body. Then that was what happened on that Friday. Then on Sunday, I decided to move out of the house. That was when neighbor now caught me and they called informed police on it. So I am very sorry for my actions that I did. I did all this out of fear. Please, I'm very sorry for all that I did and out of ignorance. Please, I thank the world for mercy and I thank the police for mercy too. Please, help. I am very sorry for my action and everything that I've done. I'm very sorry. Please, I'm with a little baby, just one year, eight months. I'm very sorry for my action. Now, I'm going to judge based on my observation. Now, look this girl. Look her full picture. 23 years old, guess. She had a nice shape. Where they, where they married to a paralyzed husband. And here and the husband, they drag phone. Before she come push the husband, she they pack things they drop. Um, I might even really say, if it be, I'm not saying that's what happened. It's possible that one young man from one corner and only tell her, say, ah, look at you, fine girl with hot shape. Let me take care of you. No be that paralyzed man. Or it's possible that what she they explain, I ain't truly really happen. Now the girl said a reason is that the man they always react anyhow to things, you know. Then out of fear, now she push him. Out of here, as she push him, do you understand? As she push the man, the man hit his head. You know, cry goes. I say, hey, me and my husband they quarrel. Now I push him, now he hit his head. At least that's better. But out of fear, you can't drag the body gone completed building. You can't burn her with fire. You can't put. You can't spray him chemical. Where they spray grass, make bush dry. After that, you can't light fire. You can't burn him and all this. one you see now out of here. Then you can't go out. Can't go pack your load. You won't run. There's somebody somewhere. The girl is not saying the truth. There's somebody somewhere. She actually wanted to get rid of the man. Obviously. But if she's saying her out of fear and out of ignorance, maybe that's her own story. This is just my own calculation. Now, the point is this. They married this girl at the age of 23. I'm feeling as if they forced this girl to the marriage again. That's another angle. I feel like they forced her to marry the guy. Now, they say the guy in the police, according to what I'm hearing, right, from my own other investigation. They say the guy in the police. So, it's like say they forced the girl. The girl no really they enjoy her. Because how do you marry somebody in February, July, you don't buy the person? Do you understand? She no really, and I feel like she didn't really consent to it. But anyways, the deed has been done. So we have to learn from the story. The story is this. What you learn from is learn to control your temper. And also, when you are in a marriage or in a situation, look for the best way out of it. If to say that girl, you're running in nice, just throw away with the guy or anybody where she did with it for better. Do you understand? If you know rich like this, or you call for a divorce, say you know what? If you are in a toxic marriage, always, if you know do you, say you won't go. This is not 2001 or 1999. This is not the era of our mothers and our fathers. Divorce now be like, then they give divorce paper like, like water. Then they give divorce paper like water. If you don't see, say the man no do you again, the woman no do you, they go. Now, 23 years old girl, now you go spend the rest of your life with his uncle. The rest of your life. You guy that fine shape now go. You don't go without you. Now you they cry to me, they give you your picking. Because of your picking, they should have mercy on you. No. That picking self is not even safe in your hands. Because you go get my carry person, a full human being, not be animal. You spray him chemical until they dry. You light fire. Ah, madam. This one is not ignorance. So. You not Dracula family. You. Ah. You not Dracula family. You. And they tell you, you're not underworld, you be William for underworld, you're strong. Girl. Anyways, the point is this when your marriage gets toxic, run away. Especially when the person no one change. Because before, if you get to this point, be like, say, two of them don't they go back and forth where we So avoid all these kind of things. May you go raise your temper, do it till you go regret. Fight for divorce. I'm not supposed to be supporting divorce, but we don't reach that era. So fight for divorce, may you go. Else you might learn. I might learn the hard way.